All right, let's talk about the housing market. It remains frustrating for both buyers and sellers. Interest rates are high, inventory still low. Let's dig in. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with us for some advice on uh, for those who are considering jumping into that market. Good morning, Jill. I know there's this uh, recent bank rate survey that found more than three quarters of Americans uh, are st uh, that are still considering owning a home to be uh, part of the American dream, which, you know, that we're, we're told that, right? That's the American dream. But so many are holding back. What is holding those buyers back? This is all about affordability because after we saw mortgage interest rates fall to record lows during the pandemic, we then saw them shoot up really quickly, you know, from 2022 to 2023. Right now, 30 year mortgage rates are hovering at around 7%. And, you know, usually when you have higher interest rates, that would push down prices. But it's incredible to me that low level of housing inventory has really kept prices high. We saw a report yesterday, existing home sales, the median price in the United States, $407,000. And that's about 50% higher than where we were, say, in 2019. So you can think of housing inflation running at more than twice the pace of overall inflation. And it's all because of this high mortgage and high, high mortgage rates, as well as high prices, putting home ownership out of reach for a lot of Americans. Yeah, so that's how it affects buyers. I have to tell you, I am a homeowner. I was lucky enough to get the low interest rate. I think, oh, I could make so much money if I sold my house, but I'm not selling because I don't want that 7 or 8% interest rate. Is that affecting homeowners now? Oh, absolutely. You're not alone. If you can believe this, 58% of outstanding mortgages right now have rates that are under 4%, and I just told you we're at 7%. So this is creating what a lot of housing analysts are calling a lock-in effect, meaning if you're a current homeowner and you've got one of those ultra-low rates, you don't want to go buy a new home. You could be busting at the seams and have 22 kids. It wouldn't matter because you're like, wait, I'm not giving up that low interest rate. Even if I just had to refinance my outstanding payment today, that would actually increase the cost of carrying my house. So a lot of people are just staying put. And again, that's contributing to low levels of inventory. So I've got about 30 seconds left. So bottom line it for us is now a bad time to buy. Not necessarily. Remember, you're going to run the numbers. You got to factor in not just your principal and interest, but also maintenance and also homeowners and homeowners uh, uh, insurance. But listen, if you're looking to lower the amount that you're paying every month, maybe you do an adjustable rate mortgage. Maybe you pay down some of the points. Maybe you have an assumable mortgage from someone else. At the end of the day, if you run the numbers and you can work it and maybe you think about refinancing in the future, it can still work. Jill, you're the best. You can catch Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell as well as every week here in QC Morning. We'll see you next time, Jill. Thank you.